Hello everyone, this is Michael Okechuku Lovenger, the creator of Michael Lovenger Speaks and the father of Theo Ominosis. Welcome to my YouTube channel that offers you seven different topics every week of the day. We have Deliverance Ministry, Love and Romance, Health Factors, Born Again Identity, Ministerial Admonition, Matrimonial Admonition, and the Human Heart Cast. We are here to give you the best because we are the best. Once again, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. For every good and perfect gift come from our Heavenly Father, who gives without partiality. Our Heavenly Father, we give you glory, we worship you this moment, O Lord God Almighty. You are God eternally. There is no one like you. We bow the kneels before you. Take preeminence, O Lord, I pray thee. Have your way, Spirit of the Most High God. Let there be open heaven, O God. May you bless the YouTube community, bless the Michael Lovinger Speaks YouTube channel, may you bless our audience, bless our partners, bless the world through this channel, even when we are done and gone. Lord, may your work continue to your own glory. Be thou exalted because you have answered our prayers. Because in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Once again, you are welcome, everyone. My Colovenger Speaks welcomes you today, once again, as we continue our journey on the health factors. Health factors. Uh, this is Health Up Factors Season 16, all right? And last time I told you that we we'll, mm, kind of, we've done a lot of things already. We analyzed the four cardinal food we ought to eat, all right? Go through our folder. The health factors folder, you will learn a lot of things. Remember, what we do here, it's not about a, med a chemical drug, no. It is about common sense. God has given you something, but how do you maintain what you've been given? Remember the secret or the common sense is that uh, your body is not like a, a mechanized uh, machinery, like an inanimate object, like a lifeless object that breaks down and needs to be taken to the uh, um, a professional technician to be fixed. No, 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 no. The spirit of the Most High God, which is called the human spirit, is alive, is the best technician within you. All right, the presence of God within you is the best technician and can fix everything and anything that goes wrong within your physical body. All right, you just have to supply the raw material, okay? You just have to supply the raw material and the best technician will do the work. What does that mean? Your body is alive, your body can fix itself. Oh, 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 we have talked about this a whole lot of time, all right? But because people have gone in tune with their, themselves, with the nature, look at the animal, I keep challenging you, look at the animal, what is their, who is their medical doctor, where is their hospital, who binds them, who heals them, who massages them? Okay, they don't have all this thing. Why is that? Because of their lifestyle, their diet, they have continued to eat according to the nature. I want you to observe the fish, observe the goat, observe the gorilla, observe the cattle eating. They will eat green vegetables, they will eat everything raw and whole. They don't take their food to the industry to be purified, to be washed. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't preserve their meal. If you want to see a dead, uh, a, a sick animal, come to the house. Go to the animal, uh, the, the human um, animal rearing industry. The only animal that I have seen that gets sick is the one that is available in the, in the, in the industry where human being manages. Why? Because human being now would, would, would develop drug vaccination, they call it vaccination, immunization. But the worst thing is that they, they will begin to process the meal, begin to preserve the meal that is giving to the animal and these are the things oh my god i pray that god will give you understanding into all things in the mighty name of jesus amen today we are going to remember i told you that from today we'll be talking about how we ought to eat what we ought to eat according to our our status 
according to our gender, according to our age, according to our occupation, according to our generic status. That's what I mean, okay? Uh, last time I told you that a strenuous worker should not eat the same thing with a, a sedentary worker, an aged should not eat the same meal uh, as, as, uh, as a teen girl or a teenager, okay? A, a, a normal um, a lactating mother, like, okay, a lactating and a pregnant mother, they can be categorized, okay? Uh -huh. Lactating mother, breastfeeding mother, lactating or suckling mother, okay, should not eat the same thing as um, an aged woman. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. And girls, after their menstrual period, they sh there should be a slight change in their diet, okay, to compensate for the loss of blood and the heightened level of stress that uh, they undergone or they underwent during the painful menstruation or girls women you know all this thing okay remember i see when you go to hospital now you pay your hard earned money to all those consultants and, and all those counselors but i tell you most of the time they give you generic medically oriented information that will not they will speak a lot of grammar to you they will collect your money but listen to what i am telling you here use your common sense use your common sense i am going to explain everything in an overly simplified manner as you shall no hard medical okay or no, i will not i may not tell you the, about the research it is not necessary if i tell you how your body your liver digest um, the the fat okay your body moves through the blood vessel what is the need if you are not if you are not a, a surgeon if you are not a medical student but I will tell you what you ought to do and then you go to sleep your body will do the work okay if you want to be um, a human body technician then go to the medical doctor would go to the medical school okay so i am going to tell you the secret of health in our valley simplified manner in everyday english language in the manner that everybody even though you are somebody is a stack illiterate as long as you can understand english language you can be a professional you can be your own doctor okay all right let's get into it from the beginning we are going to start from the beginning we are going to start from the pregnant women um maybe we should have started with people that are trying to get pregnant but that's not uh, necessary okay so we will start from pregnant uh, women if you are a pregnant woman listen to me if you are a man your expectant like uh, your yeah 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 your 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 wife is pregnant okay just make preparation all right um the Bible says that uh, uh, children, they are inheritance, they are reward from the Lord God Almighty, okay? <laughs> they are reward from the Lord God Almighty with your children when your quiver is full of the arrow of warfare, okay? So then you will not be put to shame at the gate. I think that thing is recorded in the Bible called Psalm chapter 127, okay? I think from verse 3, all right? Okay, whatever, whatever, but I know that... Uh, when couples are married they are expectant they will be expecting um babies okay all right jacob married at the age of 40 mm. after many years after many years mm -hmm. he went off and prayed to god god please have mercy on my wife have mercy on my on my family have mercy on my wife my wife want to wants to kill me because i've not been able to get her pregnant okay so god answered his prayer and then God gave the wife um, pregnancy, twin pregnancy, um, identical twins. But I tell you, those boys, they are not identical at all. The only thing that makes them identical is that they are male, male twins. But they were, they were fertilized at different um, ovary or in the body of the woman. We are not talking about that, okay? Just I want you to know that you should be expectant. You should desire, you should desire for pregnancy you should desire for children the reason why people neglect the gift of god is that uh, they don't know because they get it at the platter of god they they, uh, they have not worked for it again okay? who can work and end god's blessing but uh, at least you should be uh, expectant people don't value things people don't value certain things uh, like like i come here i tell you the easy way to perfect health Many people will not value it. They want somebody that will speak grammar to them, collect their money, maybe send them on the electric and AECG and all those things. 
and then they use that uh, radiation to destroy your body in the way in the in the, uh, uh, in the beat to destroy the cancerous cell but here i will tell you how to avoid cancer the cancer in your body will not manifest even though it's been manifesting i will tell you how what you can do it will go naturally so but the people will not value it so good we are not going to kill ourselves even jesus killed himself but uh, many people have rejected him so but by the grace of God, we are here. The good work of God will continue. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Once again, you are welcome. Pregnant ladies, you are welcome. Congratulations to you. This is the meal. Nothing complicated. Let's go straight to it. This is an uncategorized, uncharted um, uh, information. Okay. It may call any how. All right. Just receive them. Um, um, meditate on what I have to say. All right. Remember, I've told you I am not a medical doctor. Okay. But I do understand the secret of uh, spiritual and biological health. And this is what we do here. All right. Let's get to it. This is the first uh, um, introduction. Certainly. Um, I am going to talk about one thing because there are three basic or three cardinal food for every pregnant woman. In fact, for every pregnant, for every healthy person. But now I am going to tell you how a pregnant woman should be fed all right, for maximum health. And remember, you are not eating for yourself alone. You are not eating for yourself alone. You are eating for two or three or four or five. Okay, depending on them, if you are with a twin pregnancy all right but basically this is where we are so jacob prayed and god answered his prayers now let's take a reading from the bible book of matthew matthew chapter one look at what the bible say from verse 18 to the end matthew chapter one from verse 18 it says now the birth of jesus christ was as follows pardon I am going to read pretty fast, okay? Because I am watching my time, okay? Matthew chapter 1, verse eight, from verse 18. It says, Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly but why he thought about these things behold an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph son of david do not be afraid to take to you mary your wife for that which is conceived in her is of the holy spirit and she will bring forth a son and you shall call his name jesus for he will save his people from their sin. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with a child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. Then Joseph, being aroused from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord commanded him, and took to him his wife, and did not know her till she had brought forth her first son, and he called his name Jesus. Okay, the only thing I wanted to bring or to take out of this place is that um, the husband took care of the pregnant wife the woman was accepted no matter what hmm. when we talk about when we talk about oh no oh god oh god oh god when we talk about pregnant women they deserve extraordinary care they deserve extraordinary care more than a newborn baby the most fragile moment of a woman's life is during the time of pregnancy and another one during the time of menstruation Okay, and then, thirdly, or maybe, thirdly, during the time of childbirth, but we are focusing on the center factor. Pregnancy, menstruation has gone, childbirth is not yet here. So, but here we have a pregnant woman. 
So from the Bible where we have read, first of all, it was the desire of the couples to get pregnant, first of all. <laughs> because remember, if we if I am to bring a uh, spirituality, maybe I should talk about the spiritual health of the mother and the baby. Let me tell you. Uh, remember in our deliverance ministry, we go into the spiritual realm to to harvest to to hack information, hack no, to receive information from them. All right. Why do I call it hack? Maybe hack. Good. Let me tell you the spiritual connection between a baby that is coming and the family that is going to be their receiver. Uh, the connection is very strong, so I will be brief in this. Let me tell you. If couples are not expecting a baby, okay, and the baby comes, if they do not appreciate the arrival of the baby, they have started punishing the baby already. Let me tell you, the human spirit knows. The human spirit knows whether the mother or the parents is happy for its arrival. What am I trying to say? This is what I mean. When a, 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 a child is conceived outside the mutual concept or agreement or expectation of the couple, <laughs> the human spirit will know the difference that my parents doesn't want me, my parents, they don't want me. Why do I come? Should I continue or should I die? I am telling you, this thing is happening. This thing goes with a, 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 an expectant mother. Who doesn't appreciate the presence of children? Mm. Huh. You are expecting your own children and you are oh, antagonistic against children of other mothers. Huh. I am not saying that you are not going to have your own children. Uh, no, 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 not outrightly. But this is what I want. When we talk about the welfare, when we talk about the health of the mother, you should also consider the health of the fetus, the, the, the little baby. And I am starting from the spirit. If a mother is pregnant and he did not want to get pregnant, or the husband will complain, why did you watch yourself very well? That, or how the hell did you allow this thing to... This thing? How the hell did you allow this thing to get planted inside you? Oh, go and take that thing off before it turns into a baby. No, 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 no. I have explained the mystery of fertilization. Let me tell you, no matter what the medical field will tell you, I am speaking from the spiritual point. A, 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 a fertilized garment, okay? A fertilized garment is a, is a human being, spirit, soul, and body. Okay, when that spermatozoa has been yoked together inside the oroplasm, inside the oroplasm, the acrosol has dissolved inside the oroplasm. What you have is a human being. <laughs> Prior to their, 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 their entanglement, you can separate them and then you can destroy that thing, okay? But when the oroplasm, that is the head of the spermatozoa, have dissolved into the oroplasm, which is the center part of that uh, ovum. What you have is uh, a human being, and a human being is a spirit, soul, and body. No matter how tiny, after fertilization, oh no, do not take it. It is not something. It is not it. You are talking about human beings. So, let me, this thing is taking a lot of time, okay? When you are not, let me say it again, when you, when you make any negative comment against your wife, because of her pregnancy <laughs> no 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 you are already destroying the baby if you are not expecting the arrival of the baby no you are already destroying the baby because the human spirit will have come into your family visiting you the spirit will weigh you or in the balance will, will, will listen to the conversation the way you treat the mother the way the mother regard the pregnancy oh my god please parents I don't know, I don't know. Maybe this is what we are going to talk about and then maybe we will not talk about physical food anymore, okay? Let's talk about this because it is very, very important, okay? Let's go back to the Bible. Jacob and Rebekah, okay? They were found worthy because they were expectant. I want you to imagine when you are hungry. No, not just hungry, but very, very hungry. 
How do you appreciate the food? Good. The Bible says that uh, he that is uh, hungry will enjoy bitter leaves. But the, the, to the person that is already satisfied, mm, even honey is a lot of uh, 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 food to the person. What does that mean? When you are already satiated, when you already uh, achieve satiety, that is when you have filled your stomach, when you have satisfied your desire, even honey, you can vomit honey. But when you are hungry, bitter leaf can be a banquet to you. I am telling you, this is it. A lot of diminution want all those things, okay? The more you eat, the less you appreciate the meal. The more you eat, the less you appreciate the meal. The more scarcity the meal, the more value you place, the more hungry you become, the more you will appreciate the meal. So, it is going on this way. So, please, Make up your mind to expect it. Uh, last time I talked about the family planning, I'm not going to talk about it again, okay? But this is what I want you to know. When we talk about the health of the mother and the baby, first of all, I'm talking about the health of the baby right now. Couples, you should be expectant. If you are not expectant, then do something about it. Do something about it, okay? Learn a way to prevent pregnancy. Because it is not cool. When your wife is pregnant, you begin to comment negatively. Or the woman will say, oh, what a mistake. Oh my God, you are killing your baby. You are killing your baby. Don't say that. I know that what I'm saying may not make sense to you, but it is true. You are already killing the baby because the spirit of the baby is already within you. Come visiting. Don't ask me how a baby will come visiting and still go back to the special room to come back again. All these things are complicated suddenly. And also be mindful of the fact that we have more than one soul, okay? Good. So, what what you should, should know is that uh, the baby knows. The baby knows whether it is welcomed in the family or whether it is taken as a product of an accident. And that's not cool. This is the reason why when some babies are born, they begin to, oh my God, they begin to, they see a whole lot of programming that is going on. They see a whole lot of programming that is going on. Child programming, child nurturing, start right from pregnancy <laughs> oh my god the world has not come to this level of knowledge i am telling you but it is being made available to everybody okay if you are humble the bible says that uh, enters of the world of god gives light to the humble to people that are simple if your cup is not refilled yet filled but if you say that uh, you are gynecology this thing have no uh, scientific uh, scientific uh, criteria and the data Fine, 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 you are right, okay? But that doesn't mean that I am wrong. For the health of your child, spiritual, moral, social health of your child. <laughs> you don't even know the reason why so many children, they rebel, they reject programming. You want your child, you put the child in the best uh, 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 institution, academic institution. You have everything that life has to offer. Have you ever wondered the reason why? Hmm. Oh, God. When we talk about wayward children, spoiled brats, they come from two distinct kinds of family. People that are living in abject poverty, wherein the parents have no child for the no time for the child at all, at all. So, in the moment of pregnancy, the wife will say, will become worrisome. Say, ah, we've already have ten children. And then we malnutrition want to kill us. Oh, this baby again. Can you see? She is already destroying the child. And the husband getting to know about the, the wife's pregnancy, pregnancy will say, Ah, why? How are we going to take care of this child again? Eh? The mother will say, Are you not the one? I asked you to leave me alone, but you could shut up, shut up. Don't you know how your, your fellow women or women do their own thing so that they can avoid pregnancy? Ten children, and then you you come and you are going to take care of this child. Don't even come in. And if you give birth to this child, I be I happens to be a baby girl. I will send you back. Oh my God, this is Africa. <laughs> this is African country. African continent for you. Okay, so all right. So people that are living in abject poverty, non-educated. Oh my God, I made a, a teaching on child training, but that was on WhatsApp and. Um, community okay i will still make uh, the youtube uh, version of that uh, child training child training people that are the, the people that are illiterate that are living in a, in a very low uh, financial status they are liable to have up to 8 10 12 15 children <laughs> why is that 
I'm not going to explain that now because of my time, okay? Let me stick to what I want to say. All right. So, people that are living in this condition, they don't have time for their children. The child will not go to school. It happens to go to school. I'm like, children, 12 children. And then the husband is a bricklayer. Who is a bricklayer? A mason. And you more do a masonry, okay? He is a masonry. That is mason. Bricklayer, okay? Okay. And then the mother, maybe petty business. Children, 12 in number. Okay? How many, how many girls? Maybe seven girls. Okay? How many dress do we have in the whole house? Maybe we have five. That, oh my God. I don't want to. That means. Uh, the first daughter will, will put on the dress on Monday, the second daughter on Tuesday, the third daughter on Wednesday. Oh, no, you may, oh, are you exaggeration? I am telling you what I do see. What I do see, <laughs> oh my God. There are four girls, but they have only two dresses. This is dresses for uh, domestic um, uh, that is staying at home and they're going out. Because they don't go to school, they don't go to church, they don't visit, people don't visit them. You can see babies stuck naked, no pants. Stuck naked, not that they, that they want to bathe. <laughs> but this is, oh God, oh God. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe one day day or child training will still talk about it. So, in this case, the parents have already rejected this child. And so the 40 programming has started. The human spirit will know that it is rejected. And then when that child is born, the child intuitively know that uh, he or she is not welcomed in this family. And then coupled with the actual poverty. And then no matter how good you become to that child, that child will never accept them moral and social training. Because subconsciously, the heart is already set. All right, enough of that. And then, the second family that produce highest number of spoiled brat, well-worn children, are people that are excessively wealthy. <laughs> excessively wealthy. Indulgence, everything in excess. So these parents also, they produce, oh my, because hmm, it takes a lot to be wealthy, okay? I don't want to talk about this, but um, career women, career men, the maid, the nanny, taking care of everything. <laughs> I have warned mothers. I have warned, warned mothers. Mm. There is this time window for every child. There's this time window for every child when you have to become the caretaker of your child. Your child will take your picture, will incorporate everything about the mother and the father, the parents within him or her so that eh, the subconscious imprinted, the subconscious programming, when it is being written, when it is being um, programmed, it will be the mother and the father in that heart board, in that uh, circuit, in that configuration board. <laughs> but uh, because of a uh, wealth, a career, you have to keep up on the social ladder, so you don't have time. The mothers, mother don't even know how to cook. But let's go back. I'm still talking, I'm supposed to talk about pregnancy. How do wealthy people receive their pregnancy? Okay. Maybe first of all, they have tried family planning, or maybe, okay, let me just assume they are expecting. They are expecting a baby. Okay. Now, when the baby arrives, uh, number one, if, except if that mother is a dietitian. <laughs> In the family of poverty, malnutrition is the case. <laughs> and then, but in the family of the wealthy people, indulgence, excessive nutrition, indulgence is the case. Okay? Indulgence is the case. The person will eat meat in excess. The, people will, the person will eat, drink wine in excess. Alcohol, all those things. And then lack of exercise because the maid is there. The nanny is already waiting for the birth of the child. Okay? So, what I want to bring out here is that uh, most of the time in the wedding family, they don't have time for themselves. 
they don't have time for them. So when I say them, so they don't give themselves what they ought to give themselves because they have everything in essence. Check out their meal plan. Mm. They go into indulgence. All right. And then another one is that uh, I heard about this latest technology, even in Nigeria, that baby the women they say they don't want to experience childbirth. So the doctors is going to inject the woman, and then there is this uh, uh, a machine that is manufactured that will go inside the uh, the vagina of the woman and pull the baby out. Hey, robot, will take the place of a human midwife. Why do they do that? Because they can afford to do it because they have money. Because they have money. So it is all about indulgence. I am still talking about, I'm not talking about child training now because if I begin, maybe what I'm saying in this regard may not seem to be true, but go and watch how these people, they train their children. They give their children a way to boarding school. That's not necessarily bad, but um, how the boarding school will handle the child. You will find out that at the end of the day, the child will be a stranger to the parents the parents will be strangers to the child i am telling you even from the infancy the child will be taken to kindergarten because the mother doesn't want stress a, a, a housewife will better she doesn't want stress and many of them are the people that will tell you i don't want to breastfeed my baby because i don't want my breast to sag i don't want my breast to go down I, I, I hope you are getting to know, to understand what I mean by indulgence. Get too much of everything is bad. So, in summary of this thing, you should be expectant. If you are not expecting a baby, please do something about it and block every possibility of pregnancy. Once pregnancy has occurred, if you take it out, you are a murderer. If you are going into family planning, I don't want, I don't have anything to say in this regard, okay? But to use the measure that is presentive and not the measure that is uh, terminative, what do I mean? Make sure that the measure you are use, making use of is the one that will prevent the coming together of the ovum and the spermatozoa and not the one that will kill the fertilized egg. Uh, if you do that, you are a murderer. So, you should be happy when you discover that you are pregnant. Okay? The husband should give the time to the wife. Now, I want you to imagine this beautiful scenario. In this particular family, they have been expecting a baby. They have prayed. Okay? They have been expecting a baby like Jacob and uh, Rebecca. And then, all of a sudden, hmm. The wife was not feeling fine, non sick. What what is it called? This early morning sickness. Okay, we have gone to for medical checkup and then receiving that uh, result. Wow, wow! Mm. Two weeks pregnancy. My God. Then she will come smiling to herself, sleep naked, stuck naked before the mirror watching the tiny watching the stomach okay wow thank god i am going to be a mother i am going to be a mother i'm going to be a mother she has been standing there looking at herself smiling and then unknown to her the husband is home observing her hey sweetheart wow oh my god why did you scare me why did you scare me am i not supposed to scare you you are behaving strangely what is happening why are you Smiling to yourself, are you? What? Tell me, tell me what's going on? Ah, let me alone, nothing is going on, okay? But at uh, dinner time, mm. hey, take a look at this. It is the envelope of the test result, okay? The husband eating two the one food, take the envelope. Is it? What is it? Is it money? Have I told you? I told you not to seek for a job, okay? Until you are done with child breeding. Open the envelope, open the envelope and see. The wife is smiling. Wow. The husband will open and read. Wow. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. They will embrace each other, kiss, the kind of pair, lift up the woman, swing her around. Okay. 
Two weeks pregnancy. Oh my God! No, 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 no. We are certainly going out to. We are going to celebrate CM. I am going to buy you. What's your favorite car? Um, BMW. Fine, cause I don't. What else? I'm going to get you. Oh my God! From today, has for you will not cook the meal again. I am going to cook and feed you all those. Oh my God! No, 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 no. I will see because when I come back, I will tell you that the emotion, emotion of the pregnant woman will certainly become the emotion of the growing child in her stomach and then especially if that child that video is a female child what am i trying to say the woman should be made happy stress should be minimized do not give her stress just help her let her fit very well but we are still talking about the welfare of the baby it starts with a welcome gestures the couples they should be happy that the, a, a child is coming into the family the couple they should be happy and so the husband should make the wife happy look at joseph who wanted to put away the mother the father the betrothed um, uh, lady in his life but uh, upon receiving the news that uh, a savior is coming wow me i sorry for that uh, nigerian english i joseph the carpenter i am going to be father to the savior of the whole world oh my god no god i thank you ah this virgin mary my god we are privileged from today from today i have been taking you as an ordinary virgin but i don't even know i have not even known that eh, you are an instrument in the head of god okay right now from today henceforth you will not go to the forest to fetch firewood you will not go to the dam to fetch water i am going to do all this thing i am going to cook for you i am going to feed you I'm going to put you on the back of the donkey. You are not going to walk along this earth again. I, uh, we are not going to tell somebody that uh, this is what God has decided to do in our family. I am going to do this. I go, okay, can you see? I want you to imagine Virgin Mary smiling, tears, laughing, tears, joy, tears of joy coming from her eyes. Come back to this family. You can see the husband making all the promises, heaven and earth, making the heaven, promise of heaven and earth to the pregnant. Uh, uh, wife, even though, oh my god, you can see the tear of joy gushing down from the eyes of the woman. So, they are already feeding that uh, little child in the womb world. And so, programming has started. The child, the spirit of that child, will be happy, will be happy that uh, he or she is welcome in this family. This is where we're going to start because of our time. Um, I think I have delivered the message. If not, when I come back, I am going to summarize that. And then we go into emotional caregiving for the benefit of the mother and the child. Because like I have told you, the first meal of the pregnant woman is an emotional balanced diet. And whatever you feed her is equally what you are giving to the baby in her womb may god bless you and give you understanding into all things in the mighty name of jesus amen all right there you have that groundbreaking and eye-opening exposition of mystery okay remember to reach me at the comment section and do come back remember we have seven different topics every week of the day when again identity the difference ministry health factors the human heart cast ministerial admonition matrimonial admonition and the love and romance this is the best channel here on the planet earth you are never left wanting okay may god bless you and keep you and help you to find out your purpose here on the planet earth to the glory of his name in the mighty name of jesus amen remember that i love you